Hello, my name is Jay. Welcome back to my Tech Vault, and here is the 5K Q&A. So you guys answered question or asked questions, and I'm supposed to answer them. Forgive me, I'm a little tired, but I did a good job in this video of trying to answer every single question. So if you asked a question, and it's within reason, uh, I at least tried to answer one, and we'll pretty much try to get through as many as possible. So I'm going to probably try to limit to around three, but there's a lot of good questions, so I'm going to pick the ones that I like, and we're going to go from there. So first off is from my boy 2018K2K, and he says, when did you start getting into tech? And to be quite honest with you, when I was probably around maybe middle school, probably, 8th grade, 7th grade, uh, we went to a yard sale or something, and I brought home a computer, so I fixed it up, and uh, I took it apart, hoping that I'd be able to rebuild it. And that didn't happen. And, you know, that was probably the, the first key indicator. And since I was a little disappointed, I was discouraged from, because building computers or anything tech-related. So it kind of subsided for maybe a couple years. And then I really got back into it when I built my first PC and all the information for that. And then it just kind of kept going uh, into this channel and pretty much into all the stuff that I guess I know. Um, so he's also asking, uh, how far do you think your business will go? And will you ever expand it into other things? So if you don't know, I build computers for people. And I don't necessarily say I would call it a business because I'm not... I guess I look at it more of a way to get my, my make videos about hardware that I would normally wouldn't be able to afford because having the latest and greatest hardware, the benchmark and test, is not really possible, especially you know with anybody, really. You don't want to blow all that money for hardware you're not really going to use. So I got into building computers for people. I've had people online I've built computers for. I've had a lot of videos about that. I've had a lot of videos about me building computers. Actually, most of the computer build videos I do are other people's computers I'm building. So for me, uh, you know, I, I don't know how far it would go. I'd like to, you know, kind of not necessarily have a full-blown business because I kind of still want to keep it me. Uh, but I also want the ability to kind of have a computer build to do uh, that are, you know, with new and current tech and also something kind of cool and unique. And I don't know if I'll ever expand into other things, but I think that I definitely want to be like a, uh, if, you know, in a dream situation for this channel, um, I would say I'd probably want to have maybe like the film side of things and then a computer building side of things. Um, but I, going on top of that, I really would say that I don't know if I'd really sacrifice my career or something like that just to f go full on YouTube. I think always it will probably end up being a hobby. And how long did it take for you to start getting attention on this channel, views or subscribers? So the story goes actually that my first video that got really popular was actually the Lego PC case. I built the Lego PC case and that got really popular, uh, but that really didn't last. And then going on to it even more, um, I had a video of some software that I can pretty much developed is the right word. And that really took off and drove a lot of views, but it ended up being really detrimental because it was people were subscribing for the software rather than the hardware. So I'd say my, when this channel really took off or started, I guess, moving at a faster rate was when The Verge decided they were going to mess up a PC build, and I made a pretty spicy parody of it, and it got pretty popular. I think it's got almost 160 or 70,000 views on it. So yeah, it was pretty spicy. Um, Alpha Niner Gamer. Um, let's see. What is the most nerve-wracking part of building a PC for me? I don't necessarily, I'd say, nerve-wracking. Actually, I tell you, I do know it's nerve-wracking. When you get hardware that is faulty, and this is like something I've had in the past. Motherboard's been bad. I've had RAM sticks been bad. And it's just the, especially when someone's actually standing like over here, uh, and they're actually, you know, hanging out around here as I'm building the computer. It gets really nerve-wracking when the guy that, you know, you're building the computer for is, you know, you're kind of freaking out because you don't know what's wrong. And I've had things in the past where, you know, it's the power supply, or it's been the RAM, or it's been the motherboard. It's even been the help. Not yet. I haven't had the CPU yet. But get the general idea. When something's gone wrong, and it's not my fault, but something's broken, i got to figure out what's wrong and how to fix it. Um, and what is my least favorite thing to do while building a PC? That would probably be, uh, I would say, the cable management. I, 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 it needs to be done, and it needs to be done well, yes. But I despise it because it's a lot of work. Um, and what was my first PC? Uh, I had a little NZXT case. Actually, my first PC, no, that's incorrect. I had a Lenovo ThinkPad, uh, or an IBM ThinkPad, whatever they had back then. And so, do you have any pets? 
Uh, and if so, what is their names? So I have, or I used to have two cats. I had Rusty, and I currently have Sandy. Uh, Sandy actually is, was the oldest, or is the oldest. Uh, she's almost like 14 now. And she, a stray that showed up at our door. And so I kind of adopted her, and then she kind of adopted a stray. And then uh, recently we had to put the, the Rusty down, uh, sadly. But honestly, it was the right thing to do, because, you know, sometimes when animals get really messed up with cancer and things like that, it's best just to put him down. I'm not saying I didn't care about the cat, but some things need to be done just for the best of the cat. Um, and what is the smallest and largest PC you've ever built? So I've done some really compact builds, um, in particular like some console sized and some really small box sized. And then of course I've had my PC back here, well the case now, I've moved it, put it in a different case, but I've done some pretty big builds. Um, and would you choose, and this is from Jiggers by the way, uh, would you choose water cooling over air cooling? Um, so there's a lot of, a lot of things to con consider here. First off, water cooling has great potential for keeping your system cool, but it's also got a lot of potential to leak, and especially if you, any liquid cooler has this potential, especially multiple years down the road. So air cooling, if you get a good air cooler and you spend a lot of money, I mean, air cooling is really the safest bet, and it can keep things pretty cool as well. What is my preferred monitor resolution? I like it as crisp as possible, but I also think there's a balance around 2K and 144 hertz. Um, I mean, you look at me though, I have three 1080p monitors on a 1080 system right now because my current system is messed up. But I mean, honestly, it's a, I, I prefer high resolution to high refresh rate and low latency. And do I like Minecraft? Um, you guys should join all three of my Minecraft servers, guys. Uh, and. If your name is Jerry, then why is your channel named Jay's Tuckful? And this is from Alpha Niner Gamer. Well, dude, uh, I I don't. If I had a name of Jerry, no offense to Jerry's out there, but I I, I haven't even heard of Jerry. Who's? I haven't even know if I've ever heard that name before. Jerry. Okay. No, my name is actually. So that's what I go by uh, for everybody that actually knows me. But Jay's Tuckful actually kind of came out of um, actually what I go by online. Um, so that's kind of what uh, I've had kind of like this nickname, Jay. Uh, actually, it was originally JC back in when I was a little bit uh, younger, but uh, Jay. And that's what I've had for I don't know, so many years online. Everyone that I play with, that's kind of what I just got into. Um, and what has been your worst sponsor? Okay, so the one time that I had a company that sent me an exactly identical product to uh, what I had previously just reviewed. And then you do the research, it was a blatant copy, it was there much later after the original product release, and it was a blatant copy, and I just pretty much said, I ain't reviewing this. I gave it to my buddy for Christmas, uh, one of my buddies, and uh, yeah, he, he was happy he got a Christmas present, and I got that off my shoulders, because I was not reviewing that. Do you have a PC you like in particular? Uh, I like my own PC, I've done a lot of work on it. Um, I also have kind of gotten a fondness for... Uh, workstations, because, you know, doing video editing and stuff, they're pretty nice. Uh, do you play games on the PCs you build? I want to get into that. Uh, PC building is uh, nice and all, but I need to get, like, a drive that I can just throw in there and test it. Um, are you ever going to revive your subreddit? From That's from Jiggers. Ah, uh, dude, I got no idea. I haven't <laughs> looked at it. And honestly, it's, it's, it's difficult to kind of get, like, a fan base on there. I did good on Discord. Uh, is there any tech YouTubers you really like to watch, and there's some you don't? So, story goes, I, I'm a line of stack tips, wonderful dude, uh, no issues him. Uh, there's a guy, I forget his name. Uh, but back when I was originally starting out my channel, he was, like, very critical. And he's like, dude, you, in, in literal terms, he said that you should go kill yourself, you should not be doing YouTube, all this stuff. And I just particularly remember that uh, from the very beginning. And I'm just like, you know, i got to prove you wrong now. Um, what was the worst thing that happened to a PC of yours? The motherboard decided it was literally going to crap itself. Uh, will you ever make a YouTube a full-time job or keep it as a hobby? So, um, currently, uh, I plan on going through my career. I'm actually in school now for computer engineering. I uh, have a job in that field. So, yeah, I like to continue my career, but I also think that YouTube has been good because part of the reason why I got the job is because of the YouTube as portfolio. Um, what do, you think, do you think uh, you will ever get to 1 million subscribers? I have no clue. Honestly, I'd like to, but I'm just here for a ride. I'm, I'm kind of uh, 
chilling out. And Alpha Nine Gamer, are you excited for the future of your channel? Well, I don't know. I I think that I'm excited to see where it goes. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like if I know where it will go, then it might not happen. Uh, how long uh, do you get your hair to do that? How did you get your hair to do that whip thing? Uh, well, including the video that this hair was done, I had a I got a haircut in between. Uh, yeah, I I my hair is a mystery because you know it's it's curly some days and yeah uh, difficult in other days. Uh, Alpha Nine Gamer says. How much have you spent on computer parts and how do you fund this? So the secret to actually majority of the stuff that I get is yard sales. I am, and people look at me and they're like, well, you know, why you buy so much stuff used? And I just have a sad, I guess I have like a really good knack for finding stuff used that's very useful. So like the 1080 that I got over there for really cheap. Um, some of the other stuff that I've gotten, and I've gotten some stuff for free, but not anywhere close. And I maybe have spent probably on everything, all the computer cases you see that I see back here, except this one. Yeah, all the computer cases. I think I spent maybe fifty bucks on, and that's including the hardware in them. So, and then I spent like twenty bucks on power supplies and everything. Yeah, I have. I've spent. There's some people out there that I've done really good at yard sales with, and I've gotten a lot of stuff. And I've been able to reuse it. So I've gotten a lot of PC tech, but that's just because I'm really, really good at yard selling. Um, what is your favorite kind of bread? You know, I love the plain, uh, I like cheese, cheesy bread, garlic bread. Garlic bread is really good. How old am I? Um, well, sadly, I don't know if I want to get my age out on here. Um, I would probably say I'm uh, How is your channel so small while your beard is so glorious? I, I like I like it kind of short. I don't want to grow it like a full full beard because I'm not really a big dude. I'm working on it. I'm working on the gym. But for me, I don't think the beard would match my body type yet. So when I work on, when I, maybe when I get that dad bod, you know, I go for a full beard. But um, uh, uh, how did you come up with your YT name? So story be told, uh, it was originally the text. No, it was originally... The first idea was the tech station, uh, then it was, the second was the tech stop, and then it was tech vault, and then I turned it to Jay's tech vault, because some other guy had tech vault as name, and I was not going to do that. So, there was a couple iterations, but this is the final one. Uh, and Wither says, what is your favorite PC build? Oh boy. Uh, favorite PC build was probably the, I think... Thousand dollar like ultimate RGB PC build, or maybe the most recent recent Ryzen 3900X build. Will I ever go back to gaming videos? So this is this is actually my buddy Spymaster Jimmy, and I've known him for I don't know how many years this is coming up on maybe five or six. Uh, but he used to be back on my Twitch days. He was actually one of my like buddies that I would play games with, and so he knows me pretty well. And I would say that likely, uh, I don't know. I was doing some gaming on the other channel that I have, but. Uh, I actually don't have much time for games. Uh, between school, um, trying to you know get my education, things like that, working, uh, and then also you know going to the gym, staying healthy, which I would definitely advise everyone. In all serious note, is you know me being someone that is probably a hundred percent hardware nerd. You still got to be healthy. Find something you enjoy. Find something active because there's no point in. And I'm not saying anything wrong with video games either. Video games are nice. I played video games. Actually, I was playing Minecraft earlier today. So, it's nothing's wrong with that. I'm just saying that also make sure you have your you know, fair game, a uh, fair bit of you know healthy activities because it's also important. Cases. It looks like dead in the case market. Uh, cases are not so interesting like before. Also, no full towers. Mostly the, the ones I find are super expensive. Which mid tower case do you recommend? Budget one, not too cheap. Something like the Pontex one. Don't care about RGB lights or nor front, front glass. So I have a, I have the Be Quiet case that I got for free, which I don't. I think it's like three hundred dollars, so I, I can't recommend it. Sorry, I, I got it for free, and I still can't recommend it. Um, there's a case that my buddy got uh, back at like the, the one thousand five hundred dollar like RTX twenty seventy Super and three thousand nine hundred X AMD. Uh, there was a case for that it had RGB lights, had front glass, but it looked pretty slick, so I like that one. 
uh, how do I make my YouTube videos? Well, usually it comes up with an idea. Um, I have like an idea. I usually actually have them scheduled out. Probably plan out the idea, probably get an idea of points I want to go through, and then I'll go through and end up actually executing it, recording the video, edit it, and that will probably be the, uh, you know, finish the end of the video pretty much, and then I'll upload it. Actually, I wake up early the next morning, um, upload it, and then I'll go through and do all the information for it, and then it'll be good. So, next up, the, p the channel page. Um, what is your current work PC setup? Desktop, monitor, keyboard, mouse, etc. So, sadly, the current computer I'm using is a pre-built, but uh, that is because I gotta use, it was, it's a pretty powerful system, so it's an old workstation, so gotta represent. Um, so yeah, um, my mouse, I don't even know, I have a Red Dragon keyboard though, um, so I like that a lot. Um, and CPU and GPU. I have two Xeon processors, I have no idea what they are. Uh, I have 128 gigabytes of RAM in this system, I don't know. Um, but I have three 1080p monitors. Um, honestly, this video, I guess, hope you guys learned something about me, uh, something that uh, I, I thought was very, I thought it was a good video, kind of get to talk with me and stuff. I uh, appreciate all the comments, there were some people that did a, l a lot of overtime and comment making, so appreciate you guys making the video. Uh, what it is, and as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I think hope to see where we go from here, and yeah, thanks guys. Bye.